Yo, what is up you guys? New Age here with some more Pokemon Showdown Ladder and Sessions. And once again, we're up in the Gen 7 OU. Uh, we got, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, I'm recording the Showdown screen on OBS and I have OBS open right next to the Showdown screen. So essentially there's two of these right next to each other. And I keep going to click on the one that's OBS not showdown so i go to click and it's 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 nothing i'm clicking on the recording thinking it's showdown but it's not i'm really stupid anyways we're using a uh, interesting team that i found on on the forums on the smoggin on, on on the smoggin forums yeah let's 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 leave it at that that is where i found it anyways <laughs> it has uh salazzle for one nasty plot salazzle sounds fun focus sash you know sure why not um, Mega Sharpedo, which I enjoy using, also with the Psychic Fangs and with the Speed Boost, the Instant Speed Boost is kind of cool. It's like we don't necessarily have to wait a turn to get the Speed Boost with Sharpedo first. Uh, Scarf Tap Lele, which is a lot of fun to use, does put, puts in the work. Uh, we got uh, Focus Sash Mamoswine, Stealth Rocks. Other than that, I mean, it's, I mean, even this, this is normal Mamoswine. I don't know why this is like that. That shouldn't be there. Sure. Are any of the other ones like that? What is this? Why is this at this? 212 for what? If anything, I'm assuming they're giving it more speed for something, but I don't know what. Um, I guess if 210 does anything. Not really, all it does is make it odd which it should be anyways uh we got a av delmise with rapid spin not bad um i haven't really gotten to use this a lot so i'm gonna give it a shot a bars um and then we got a lowly marowak a spadef marowak with thick club i feel like if it's spadef it should have leftovers but i mean thick club even with no attack investment since it doubles it, it still has a really solid attack so sure why not it has no speed whatsoever but hey that's beside the point anyways so that's the team. Let's see if we can get us a game. All right, all right, we up in it. Um, I don't know why it looks. It looks like he has five Pokemon. Is that just me? Like there should be something here. I don't know. There's nothing here on my side. So whatever. Anyways, um, he's got a Gengar. That's no fun. Mega Metagross. I oh, love Mega Metagross. Um, I think I kind of get destroyed by that. Well, actually, Salazzle. Could put in the work it outspeeds mega metagross so it's cool uh for Amosa, i kind of have Mar i mean i have a lot of ghost pokemon and kind of tapu lele um anyways i feel like he'll lead Nihel Niheligo? 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 <laughs> uh so i, I think i just want to lead mamoswine i don't know why he would uh lead with this but it's so whatever um I will just Earthquake, I don't care if he wants to switch, because Togekiss can't really do anything to me either, so. He is faster than me, um, but I'm also sashed as well, so if he did have anything to knock me out, which I don't believe he does, then that's fine. So we're going to knock this thing out right here. Um, I think I actually want to get up my rocks right now as well, because I can Ice Shard him next turn and he still can't knock me out, so yeah. I'd rather get up my rocks because I don't see a a rapid spin. Oh wait, Feromosa. Duh. Uh, but yeah, we're just gonna ice shard here. Get rid of that. So we got up our rocks. Not bad. Um, as he's gonna go out into Gastron. Well, yo, what if I had freeze dry? Wrecked. Um, I kind of want to switch. I don't really feel like I need to preserve this, but I guess Ice Shard could kind of come in handy later if I really wanted it to. Um, so that being said, hmm, I really want to go into uh, Dalmize to Rapid Spin, and then if anything, I can Shadow Claw the Gengar too. Yeah, I'm gonna do that as long as he doesn't like Scald Burn me. I mean, you know, let's see it happen. No, okay, no Crit Burn, nice. Alright, so here, um, I want to go for Shadow Claw, expecting him to go out into Gengar to spin block me, maybe. Or at least, I mean, I'm going for a grass move, so I don't know. 
I at least feel like he shouldn't stay in here. But I feel, okay, I guess he doesn't care about the rapid spin. I don't care about Ice Beam, bro. Alright, and now he's gonna go into Gengar Watch. I hate when people do this. When I'm like, oh, they won't stay in now. And then they do the play that I expected the next turn. Okay, which he didn't do in this case, so I'm cool with that. Uh, so he goes out into Togekiss here. Um, let's see. I don't have speed with Mammoth Swine. What? Oh, because I'm adamant. I guess uh, it would have been a speed tie. Is Togekiss space 80 as well? Let me see. Oh yeah, it is base 80. Alright, yeah. No, I'll stick with Adamant. Um, let's see. I kind of want to go into Marowak here. Um, unless he just wants to Air Slash, but I'm still Spadef. Oh my gosh, that does a lot. Um, nothing on his team really appreciates Shadow Bone though, so... I'm gonna go for that. He does have Gastrodon, but do we outspeed that? We do outspeed that. Yeah. Oh man. But well, because of leftovers, he might actually. He should not live Bulmerang. Pretty sure he doesn't resist that either. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Oh my gosh, he does resist it. Okay, never mind. He just went for recover though, so whatever. I'll take that. Um, let's see. Let us see. Hmm. I don't want to go Tapu Lele yet. Hmm. I guess I could go Delmize. I really don't want to. I don't want him to burn me. Hmm. Yeah, I'm really afraid of him burning me, but I will go Delmize here. Um. Mm, he doesn't get the burn nice. I don't really feel like I'm risking it. Um. I'm gonna go Shadow Claw again. Maybe expecting him to switch out. I'm honestly trying to. I think I'll just sack this. Um, as he goes Togekiss again, okay. Well, I'm fine with this situation. Um, I'm just gonna anchor shot here if he does decide to roost. <laughs> and that's gone. <laughs> just because what I wanted to do anyways was sack the Delmise so I could come in, um, fresh with another Pokemon. I just didn't want to come in on, like, risking a burn. But... I hmm. I'd speed Gengar too, but I can't really do anything. Also, if he has Bullet Punch, it's bad. So I'm gonna Shadow Claw here, as he just knocks me out. That's fine. Um, I didn't see an item, so I mean, I'm just gonna assume he's sashed, which is broken at this point. Um. But I think I'm gonna go Tapu Lele here and just start firing off Psychics. All he really has to take it is Metagross. Um, I guess I could go for Shadow Ball. I really don't want to though. I don't know if Shadow Ball knocks it out is the thing. Let's calc. Let's find out. Let's see. Tapu Lele. Um, are you modest or timid? Timid, yeah. Uh, let's see, 252, Timid, against a Gengar. I'm, I mean, Gengar doesn't have that good of defenses, but I still want to make sure. Yeah, Shadow Ball's a roll, 85 to 101. Ugh. And then how much do I do to Metagross? with Psychic. 19 to 23. I mean, I guess I'm not too scared of switching into Metagross. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for Psychic. I mean, how much would Shadow Ball have done? Oh, Shadow Ball would have two hit KO'd this man. 100%. Um, hmm. I feel like I still need Marowak just in case Feromosa. Um, but because of that, I really don't know what to do here. So... Hmm. 
Metagross. I want to see Mega Metagross. Because it's obviously more bulky. So Shadow Ball does 53 to 63. So it doesn't knock him out. Um, I don't know who to go out into here. I think if anything, I guess I'll sack Sharpedo. Should I? I don't know who's more important here, Sharpedo or Salazzle. That's my problem that I can't figure out. I, th mm, I think Salazzle just because it has a sash. It has the Sashel. And he can't, um, I don't get a speed boost here. Well, then that's upsetting. Um, if he is like adamant or something, we can outspeed him, which he's probably not. Or if he's not max speed, I know that's a thing. As he switches into Gastrodon here. I mean, I kind of regret Mega Evolving, but at least we get to knock it out now. As I am going to go for Psychic Fang. That should still take it out. It's only a 29. Alright, so Sharpedo at least gets a kill, not bad. Um, now at this point... Revenge killing with something is a thing. Um, I don't think he should have switched there, because what if I didn't Mega Evolve, or what if I protected or something? But I'm going to crunch. Yeah, so he is max speed. Um, now here... Hmm, I just need a little bit more damage for Shadow Ball to knock him out. Especially because he's max speed. That's like an accurate roll right there. Um... Hmm. How much does Ice Shard do? I might just go Salazzle and go for the Flamethrower. I'm just hoping I don't get swept by Feromosa like last second. But I'm gonna go for Flamethrower. Let's see what he wants to do here. Cause that's be Gengar too. I didn't know Salazzle was this fast. Base 117, ha! <laughs> I like it. Faster than those 110s. Metagross, Mega Gengar! Alright, so we get to just knock this out. Not bad. And now he's gonna go Gengar. Uh, let's see. What could Gengar do? I still kind of want to keep my sash. I feel like I should be able to... If anything, I live a hit with Tapu Lele now from Feromosa. And I should knock it out. Salazzle. Gengar. I don't know. Let's assume he's that set. Um, what am I? I'm calcing a lot because I'm trying to learn. Timid Max special attack. Flamethrower. Timid. 57 to 67. Ooh, I like it. Oh, he's Scarf. Okay. Good to know. Um, I think I'll still let this go anyways, because now I can knock him out with uh, Mamoswine's Ice Shard. Yeah, and if he wants to switch, fine, he dies to rocks when he comes back in anyways. Unless he's trying to maintain rocks by rapid spinning. Okay, never mind, that doesn't work. <laughs> GG. It's a wrap. It's a wrap! Damn, Mammoth Swan, you put in the work! I mean, I knew uh, Feromosa was frail, but damn, I didn't think it was going to do that much damage. So saving Mammoth Swan from the very beginning came through in clutch. Just that one decision right there of... I'm gonna save Mammoth Swine for the Ice Shard priority. Help me uh, finish things up. So, uh, not too bad for a first game. Let's get another one. All right, so we got another one. Um, this guy's cool. Turtonator. Uh, he has a scary team. But I think maybe if I can get past um, Tapu Koko and Kartana, I can be good. I don't know. This whole team is so much that I don't know like what it is. Um, he does have a rapid spinner with Turtonator, doesn't he? I kind of want to lead Mamoswine. 
Yeah. As he's gonna lead Cartana. Um... I mean, I just don't- I don't want to just let things die, either. I'm just gonna Stealth Rock anyways. He's gonna Smart Strike. It's not gonna knock me out, obviously. Um... And I think here... I mean, he's Grass and Steel. Smart Strike shouldn't do that much to Delmize, but... I think I just want to go Marowak. As he goes for Night Slash, so good prediction on his part. Um, let's see. Slazzle is faster than that too. Dang, everything taking unnecessary damage. Um, I'm just gonna go Slazzle then. I don't think he can, well, I'm Sashed anyway, so he can't knock me out. Um, and we know he's not Scarf, so I am faster. So, I think, I don't know, I I'm going to flamethrower because a Turtonator was like a really obvious prediction for him to go out into, but I don't know how much I wanted to uh, predict that. Let's see, uh, Turtonator. So, it's Bidef and HP is actually really bad. But I don't know if I want to risk that damage either. Because that's one, this is one of the only things I have that outspeeds Kartana. Other than Tapu Lele, but... Let's see. Um, oh no, I already have Salazzle up. Turtonator. Uh, Sludge Wave. Yeah, that doesn't do enough. Especially if he's defensive like that. Um, hmm. I don't know who to go out into. I guess I'll just go on to Marowak in case he's trying to rapid spin right here. If he goes for Dragon Pulse, like, fine. Um, actually, I'm pretty sure he's defensive, so. I think I just want to go for the boomerang. That could knock him out. And he doesn't have a ground immunity. Actually, this team is very weak to ground. So, it sucks that Marowak got so weakened. My two ground Pokemon. If anything, all I did was make it harder for me to beat Tapu Koko later on. As we miss the boomerang, that really sucks. No way. I have to, I have to know now. Marowak. Eight attack. <laughs> uh. Bone Meringue. Is that two hits? Or in general? Oh yeah, that is two hits. 58 to 69 to max HP. Damn. That still would have done a lot though. Let's see. Mammoth Swine. Earthquake knocks this thing out. And he still doesn't have a switch. I mean, I get a clean switch into Mammoth Swine here, so. Yeah, I'm just gonna Earthquake. Unless this thing gets Sucker Punch or something. It looks like something that would get Sucker Punch. I hope that's not the case. Because <laughs> he still doesn't have a switch into this thing. Into a ground move. Okay, so he's fully physically defensive. So there goes my two electric answers. So now I have to keep Del uh, Delmize healthy. Um, dang, and he has a Raquinid to revenge kill my Sharpedo. So I can't even like go out into that and start setting up or anything. I mean... Araquanid does not have a good defense. Oh, it kind of does. Okay, why can't I just type in Mega Sharpedo? Alright, let's see. So Mega Sharpedo. Psychic Fangs. Crunch Waterfall. Poison Jab. 
I'm assuming it's maybe max HP. Uh, crunch does... Crunch is a roll that is not really in my favor, but I'm gonna go for it. It can knock him out after rocks. It can very much do that. Um, what does more? Waterfall or crunch? Actually, he has a... Crap, he has that one move, doesn't he? Whatever. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, he has the one move, um... I forget what it's called, but Turtonator gets its own, uh... Like, spiky shield kind of move, doesn't it? I don't remember what it does, but... Ooh, ooh, ooh! This man about to get blown back. <laughs> um, okay, so 433 speed... My thing is, does Sharpedo knock this out without the strong jaw boost? Because ideally, I would like, um, I would like another speed boost if I could get one. Yeah, Poison Fang isn't guaranteed knockout, which is surprising. So, I would have to be, yeah, I have to be Mega to knock him out. Oh, is this Poison Jab? Oh my gosh, I have Poison Jab. Didn't even realize it's not getting boosted. Okay, Poison Jab knocks him out still. Hold on. I'm sorry I'm calculating a lot, but this is how I learn. Poison Jab actually knocks him out from regular Sharpedo. So I don't have to Mega Evolve, hopefully. Oh my gosh, he actually lived. He actually lived. Wow. The, okay. The calc said I knocked him out. If I would have Mega Evolved, I would have knocked him out. So now, I guess I just lose. That's really unfortunate. Because I could have done so much damage to his team. I could have punched a huge hole in his team. That's really unfortunate. Alright, well. The calc says Poison Jab from Jolly to Tapu Bulu does 103 to 123. I mean, I guess even if he had HP, like he was still weakened by rocks as well, you know? So is this thing scarfed or what? Or no, we know it's not scarfed. What is he doing? Okay. Later. I really don't think we can win this one. But we'll see. I'm still not convinced just because I lived right there. Um, I guess I'll go Delmize. That's kind of all I have to go into. As we take that somewhat well, but let's see. Uh, so if I had to predict something, well, his he still doesn't have Earthquake Switching, so it doesn't matter. Araquanid would be his best option to take this, but still wouldn't take it like amazing. I would hope he would go into Muck actually, not expecting Earthquake, but we'll see. As he does go into Muck, not bad, so we get to hit this thing for some nice damage. What? Figgy Berry. <laughs> so unless he's max speed, we knock him out. And I know, is Shadow Sneak a thing? I don't know, I'm going for it. Okay, he has max speed. That's cool. You're a cool guy, you know? Um, so we know he's not Assault Vest. Muck, and we know he's max speed. Tapu Lele. Max special attack so what do we have we have moonblast do i even have any physical attackers i don't that's not good for raquinid 44 to 52 jeez 
so I have to go Salazzle then. Man, I really wish I Mega Evolved there. That's upsetting. Salazzle doesn't even knock it out. Can he knock me out? I'm gonna see real quick. If, uh, Muck gets Shadow Sneak. Well, I'm sure it does. But I don't know, yeah, see, I don't know if that's pre-bank or not. I kind of want to just try and go for, uh... Well, Tapu Koko outspeeds me anyways. Yeah, I'm better off just going for a flamethrower. Because then I can knock him out with Tapu Lele, but it... It really doesn't matter at this point, because I can't beat the rest of his team like this. Yeah, I can't beat the rest of his team like this. Man! Cause Sharpedo would've knocked that out, and then say like... What would he have gone into there? He couldn't have gone Kartana or Tapu Koko. Or at least I don't feel like he could've. Cause I outsped both of them. So I would have been able to either weaken Muck or switch around with it. He's gonna go Tapu Koko for whatever reason. I mean, that's dead now. And Muck dies, so he has to go Araquanid. Um, which is fine, you know. I'm pretty sure Araquanid will knock me out. Yeah. And there's the liquidation. Choice b, -b banded Nah, that's, that's not GG. That roll was lame. But, whatever. I feel like I would have done better otherwise. Um, I don't know if I would have won, but I would have at least been happier about that. Because I, the only reason I didn't Mega Evolve was because of going off of the calc that said I would knock it out. So, you know. Otherwise, I would have just Mega Evolved and knocked it out. Easy peasy. But, whatever. Let's find another game. Alright, we got another game against some more standard stuff, I guess. I'll assume that's like AV Muck. No, it'd be AV Magirna, wouldn't it? What is this Muck then? I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure I don't see a way for him to get rid of Hazard, so that's cool. I don't really know how weak he is to Hazards too, but... He's gonna lead Celesteela. Um, I don't know if he's just wanting to go for the steel move right away. Actually, I feel like I need to keep Mamoswine healthy because I'm not trying to play around with Muck like that anymore. Um, I think Marowak is a good switch here. I'd want to go Delmize, but I, I feel like Marowak is better. And I can try and burn something. So he's going to go for the flamethrower over the uh, steel move. I didn't know if it was steel move or flamethrower, so... That's why I didn't go into Delmize, but I am, hmm, like what would he go out into here? Garchomp if anything, or Greninja I guess. I don't think he'd go Greninja, but I am going to Will-O-Wisp. I miss, okay. Well, aren't you a swell guy? Let me guess, you have Protect too. You're going to take more of my HP for no reason, yep, okay. I'm just gonna Will-O-Wisp again. And my Marowak is getting ridiculously weakened for no reason. Like now I have to switch out into something. Because of that. And I don't really have anything to take on Celesteela that well. I'm just gonna Flare Blitz. If he wants to protect, fine. Alright, I'm gonna switch now into Mamoswine. Maybe if he wants to go into Garchomp to take the Flare Blitz and then knock me out with the Recoil, Rocky Helmet, Rough Skin, whatever. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, so we got Mamoswine in here. Um, I honestly don't expect him to stay in unless he's trying to get up his own rocks. 
Honestly, I don't like dealing with this thing either. I'm just gonna stealth rock, yeah. As he's gonna go back out his, into uh, Celesteela. So we get off, we get up our rocks for, you know, kind of free or whatever, so that's nice. Uh, that being said, I don't know who I want to go into now. I don't want to switch Salazzle into a steel move. That's my problem. Uh, what's he gonna go for? I feel like he's gonna heavy slam here, honestly. How much do I even need Delmize? I mean, Delmize is good for Tapu Koko, I guess. No, oh, I'm gonna go with Delmize. As he goes for a leech seed. Cool. And I think at this point. You would have to go for flamethrower, right? I feel like he, he I feel like it's safe for him to go flamethrower because Marowak is so weak. So Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go Salazzle here. Okay, cool. Unfortunately my sash gets broken, which I'm not really fond of, but um, at this point, I really don't feel like he has a switch unless it's Garchomp, but I don't speak Garchomp, unless it's Scarfed. Um, I'm gonna go for Hidden Power Ice, as he goes out into Muck, okay, so, not exactly what I expected, but that's okay. Um, I don't know if he has Pursuit here, if that's what he's gonna go for, but, I mean, I really don't have a switch here. Oh, 218. I think I read that as 128 earlier. <laughs> Dang, why is this thing so... F oh, well, it's not fast. I'm just really... <laughs> I'm just really slow. Uh, let's see, do I go... Marowak here? I don't really want to sack Marowak because I could Flare Blitz later. So, if anything, I'll sack Delmize. Yeah, I, didn't, I really didn't want anything to get knocked off. Um, and here, I do want to go Mammoth Swine, um, and I think I want to Icicle Crash just to get off damage on Sail Steel if that's what he goes out to. He actually stays in with Muck, which is obviously something he could have done, um, but I still 2 it KO him with Icicle Crash, so. And if he wants to switch now, that's fine. It does not bad damage. Not enough. All right. Um. So here, I expect that he would go for heavy slam or leech seed, I guess. Um. I think there's a point where I want to go Marowak. The only problem is Celesteela. That's that's my beef. I'm gonna go Salazzle here, expecting him to protect. He doesn't have to protect, but that would be something he could do to just knock me out. So, at this point, uh, let's see. He's already shown Muck as a switch in. I think here I wanna go Mammoth Swine. Expecting Muck. Actually, I don't think I have to do that. After Rocks, I should be able to knock him out. Um, I'm gonna go for Flamethrower, yeah. Yeah, because he just saw the hidden power, so he wouldn't go Garchomp. Um, and okay, so you're scarred. Um, <laughs> congrats. Uh, Celesteela is gone, so I'm just gonna let Marowak go now. Uh, but yeah, he wouldn't go Garchomp because he saw the hidden power, and Muck would die with Flamethrower, Rocks, and another Flamethrower, for sure. As he goes into Greninja, I don't know if he was expecting Marowak, but good on him because now I lose <laughs> probably I mean freaking his Ash Greninja um I think I'm just gonna go for Bone Ring I guess in case he misses I mean like I don't know what he was gonna go for like if he was a uh, uh, specs and he decided to just lock himself into hydro pump, you know, that was that was my thinking uh, So water shark in Where well, they were on hydro pump and dark pulse. I feel like 
it's a good position for Sharpedo, but I also don't want it to get knocked out by something stupid that I'm not expecting when Tapu Lele can just Moonblast and knock it out. Hmm. Because, like, who do I need more later? I guess Tapu Lele would be better. So I could try and go Sharpedo here. Alright. I don't know what other move he could have to knock me out. That's that's my thinking on this. I don't I don't know what his other move could be. So he's either going to switch here or not knock me out, but I'm going for a waterfall. As he goes Magirna. That's what I was expecting him to go out into. Um Unfortunately I don't really have like a switch for this, so I'm going to be cheeky and just go for a flinch or a lot of damage. Because weakening this Magirna would be nice, as that's going to knock me out. And that's okay. It's like what I expected. Um, and here I can get rid of the Magirna, because that's something that's stopping my Tapu Lele from just clicking Moonblast. Because honestly, I think Garchomp dies, especially... Oh, if he's Scarfed, he outspeeds me. Oh, uh, do I lose to... I think I lose to Tapu Koko then. I'm gonna go... Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, I shouldn't have done this. Damn it. Um, he's gonna sack his muck to keep Magirna, actually, which is a better... a better play, because now he does still have his... Moonblast switch in. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I lose. Because he gets to go Greninja here. Um, damn it. Yeah, there's not really a good position for me here. I'm just going to sack Salazzle to Water Shuriken. Um, yeah, because his Garchomp outspeeds me and can get off damage. I don't think it'll... It might not knock me out. I'm pretty sure it won't, but he can get off damage either way. Point being, um, I don't know if he expects me to be scarfed, but I have to Moonblast. <coughs> yeah, because I haven't shown Tapu Lele yet, so he didn't know I was scarfed, but he does have Magirna to go into now. Um, the thing is, I don't outspeed Tapu Koko, so I'm pretty sure it just knocks me out. I can't go hard into Mamoswine right here. So I'm just going to Moonblast. That's actually not bad damage, and we get a special attack drop. Um, but Moonblast doesn't knock him out again anyways, unless we like crit or something. Yeah, so we get another special attack drop. <laughs> what if we live that? How cool would that be? Um, so yeah, pretty sure it's a wrap here. Um, if Garchomp doesn't knock me out, Tapu Koko knocks me out. I'm pretty sure is what happens here. Um, I'm just gonna calc just to make sure. This is a stupid calc, but I wanna see how much Ice Shard does. <laughs> yeah. That's what I thought. Not enough. So I'm going to Earthquake and Dazzling Gleam is going to knock me out. Not bad. Um, yeah, because obviously um, like Garchomp would have died to Ice Shard, but uh, at the end, hmm, I'm sure there's things I could have done differently, but I didn't know what. But that's why I'm doing this. I'm still learning. Um, I don't mind how much I lost. The team was a lot of fun to use. I wish I could have done better with it. I really wanted to like sweep some teams with Mega Sharpedo or even Salazzle I didn't get to sweep with. Um, but honestly, I was never really trying to set it up for sweeping with Salazzle, especially in that last game because of Water Shuriken. Like, that two hit KO'd me. So even if I have my Focus Sash, it wouldn't have mattered. But no one really got hazards up on me, so... I guess I should have tried to sweep with Salazzle, but I guess with things like Greninja and like Tapu Koko still being faster and like so many Scarf Pokemon running around, especially like Garchomp, um, 
I guess Lazo doesn't really do good at the moment. But it was uh, it was fun times either way. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like, share, comment down below, all that good stuff. And until next time, I'm New Age Joe. Keep on watching. See you guys later. Peace.